Eric Hutchison used his retirement funds to build the world's first electric Ferrari, a 78 model classic he initially bought from a salvage market. When this is converted, it'll knock your socks off. I mean, this, if you blip the accelerator at 40, 50 miles an hour, if you're not sure what you're doing, this could easily be going backwards. Oh, wow. You spin it out quickly. It's got half the weight of a Tesla with the same amount of power. The successful project gave birth to his company, Electric GT, one of the few companies providing individual solutions for the electric conversions of vintage cars. The first process, de-icing, removing all internal combustion engine requirements. Rip that gas tank out, rip that engine out. Then you say, how much power do I want? How much range do I want? And how much money do I want to spend? There's a big range of options to put into the vehicle, and you can make a, a, what was an unreliable classic car super reliable, daily drivable, and really fun to drive. What's better than driving an iconic 1965 convertible Mustang? Well, some would say having one that is all electric. These kinds of conversions are now becoming increasingly popular among vintage car users who want to make their vehicle more reliable for daily use and even add more performance. Depending on the desired performance, range, and other factors, conversions can cost anywhere from $20,000 all the way up to $100,000. A team of engineers works on building new models for electric motor blocks that include the engine, the battery, and all other components that an electric vehicle needs. Aside from fitting it all in a small space, getting the right weight balance is also key. When we talk about pushing batteries and putting them around vehicles, you can see we do a tremendous amount of studies on where to place batteries in vehicles. Batteries are the key to electric cars and the majority are produced in China. Developing smaller, lighter and cheaper batteries could make EV conversions more accessible to a wider range of clients and cars, according to the company's chief technology officer. Tesla started out with a really, really expensive Roadster, and now they've gotten to their Model 3, which was their goal, right, is to make it to something more affordable. Um, so we're working very much in that same fashion. We're trying to prove out the concepts and, and make them palpable for people, and then eventually it will get to a better price point. But until then, it's a luxury afforded by those who will pay big bucks to keep their vintage car on the road and more powerful than ever before. Especially in the aftermarket crowd, people want high horsepower numbers and fast acceleration. And electrics are really good at doing that. Um, a great byproduct is, of course, that it's better for the environment long term. In the long term, an investment in EV conversion makes up for the cost of decades of fuel consumption while leaving a green footprint on the environment. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.